Okay, so in this video, we will consider the following special integral of the form 1 over x squared plus k squared with respect to x, where k is a positive real number. So whenever this integral comes up in integrating a rational function using the method of partial fractions, you will be able, if you remember, to use the um, actual answer that we'll come up with in this video and not have to rederive it every time it comes up. As this can come up fairly frequently when we're dealing with irreducible quadratic factors. So the idea is, well this is almost the integral of 1 over x squared plus 1. If this were 1, then it would be simply the arctangent of x and would be done. The idea is how can we get rid of this k squared factor? Well if there would be a k squared factor in the first term, we could factor it out and then we'd have the arctan of x. So the idea is to make a simple u substitution. So we replace x by k times u. Let's find our differential. So the differential of x will be the differential of ku. But differential of k times u, well the derivative of k times u is simply k times of course du as we have a function of u. And of course, as we've said, if we square x, we get k squared times u squared. And now if we replace in the integral, what do we have? dx is k du. And x squared is k squared u squared. Plus, of course, k squared. And then we can do two things. We can first factor the k on the numerator, and we can factor the k squared from the denominator, and we're left with simply 1 over u squared plus 1 with respect to u. And of course, this is the derivative of arctangent of u with respect to u. So in the end, we have what? Well, 1 over k, the arctangent of u plus c, and we want to return to a function of x. Well, if x is k times u, u is x over k. And this completes our integration problem. So if you ever see this integral coming up in the integral of a rational function using the method of partial fractions, you don't have to rewrite this over and over again, as this will come up fairly frequently. So you can say, okay, this is the integral of 1 over k squared plus x squared plus k squared with respect to x. So it's going to be 1 over k arctan of x over k plus c. And that's it. Of course, if you don't remember this answer, then you have to rederive it. So let me consider now just two examples of this. And let me just rewrite the integral here. So this is the integral of 1 over x squared plus k squared, where k is again a positive real number. Let's look at two very uh, straightforward examples that are exactly in this form. So what if I ask with the integral of 1 over x squared plus 9 dx? Well, I need this to be a k squared, so of course I simply have to rewrite 9 as 3 squared. And so here the value of k is 3, and so all I get is 1 over 3 times the arctangent of x over 3 plus c. But what if I asked for the integral of 1 over x squared, say, plus 6 dx? Well, sure, 6 is not a perfect square when it comes to integers, but if you square the root of 6, it works fine, right? This result is true for any positive value of k.
And so now, k is the square root of 6. So we have 1 over the root of 6, arctan of x over the root of 6. And of course, plus c. And that's it. Now I want to make one last comment, and this is regarding our previous special integral. If you remember, in the previous video, we considered the following integral. So integrating x over x squared plus k, where k was then any real number. And if you recall, this was simply the, was equal to 1 half the ln of x squared plus k in absolute value plus, of course, c. And this is, again, a very simple u substitution, letting u be x squared plus k. And by making this substitution, we arrived at this answer fairly easily. So sometimes you'll have an integral that will combine both this special integral and also this other special integral. And the idea is, when they're within the same integral, you have to split them up. So let me show you what I mean by this. This will be the last example of this video. So what if we had to integrate, say, 2x plus 3 over, say, x squared plus 5. You can recognize that the first part is of this type, and the second part is of the type of the second special integral. So as long as you keep the rational function as a single rational function, you will not be able to evaluate this given integral. But if you split up the fraction into a sum of two fractions, namely 2x over x squared plus 5 and 3 over x squared plus 5, then you can tackle both fairly easily. So, of course, I'll factor the 2 from the integral. So integral of x over x squared plus 5. So this is our first special integral, check, plus. I'll factor the 3, and I'll be left with 1 over x squared plus 5. And now we should recognize this as our second special integral, 1 over x squared plus 5. We want 5 to be something squared, so as before we will simply rewrite 5 as the root of 5 squared. And so in the end, now using our two special integrals, we get here two times a half the ln of this, but two times a half will cancel, and we'll be left with the ln of our denominator. Plus three times the integral of one over x squared plus k squared, which we know is one over k, so 1 over root of 5, arctan of x over k, arctan of x over root of 5. And this will complete our integration. I can combine the 1 over root of 5 with 3. And of course, plus c. And this completes the integration. So in conclusion, whenever you are trying to integrate a rational function using the method of partial fractions. If an integral of this type pops up, first you have to break it up into two integrals, and each one is one of our two special integrals, and you can right away go from the integral to the final answer directly. Of course, if you happen to forget the end result, you can always rederive it with, in each case, a proper u substitution. And that's it.